Hello, my fellow eggs. So you're back. Back to the great adventure that is painting the Napoleon and his horse. I started by painting the eyes and deepening the shadows on the horse's head, as well as sketching out some hairlines and the letter lead. I used an acrylic marker as well as acrylic paints for this. And for the brushes, I'm actually mostly using IKEA brushes, which were three euros and I have to say are amazing. They don't look like much, they don't feel like much, but they're great for what I'm using them. Next, I wanted to place some color that need to be placed and deepen, deepen the black. The brown leash was pretty simple to draw, especially with the IKEA brushes, which were very square and flat. After that, I decided to work on the hat some more. So that's one of the most prominent features of this painting as well. I painted the edge yellow or golden as it is. After that you can see me working a bit on Napoleon's face. While looking back at the reference photo I noticed that his face should be a bit longer and I wanted to put in those blue eyes of his as well as make all his face features a bit more dramatic. After that, I worked on the hand. Every, <laughs> every artist's worst nightmare. I decided to use the white acrylic marker to define the hand some more to make it more realistic since the blobs of paint just made it very hard for me to notice where the actual hand lines were. After that, I used the same acrylic marker to add the pattern on Napoleon's uh, clothing pieces as well as the metal buckles on the horse's lead. Once all this was done, I went over the white acrylic marker with a wash of paint. I used the same hue as his hat, which was supposed to be like a, a golden yellow, and added some faint shadows onto it as well. Once that was done, I was back to editing Napoleon's face and added a flash of color to the horse's eye. And now for the most fun part of it all, the horse's hair. Now in the original painting, the horse has lovely golden hair and he has a braid around his ear. I used a black wash first to lay down the general shape. And then from that went lighter and lighter. After the hair was okay, I went back into the hand and added a wash of color to it as well eliminating all the white places. Once that was done, I noticed the hand is very hard to distinguish from the actual background. So I added a bit of background just to be able to see it better. And that's where we are now. I hope you like this update and I'll see you all next time. Bye.